When I'm painting landscapes and things, I like to paint late in the afternoon. And one of the really fun things is creating the illusion of light filtering through trees across grass and over the tips of grass. So what I'm going to do is a little, very little, uh, simple little strategy now that um, makes that process really easy, but also creates the illusion of depth. So I'm just going to mix up a little bit of colour here, which is the, we'll call it the grass highlight colour. And I want it nice and warm and late afternoony. And what I'm going to do is this. So we'll imagine the sun hitting the grass, the tips of the grass over here, like that. Now I'm actually going to run a shadow across here. But what I want to do is create the impression of this being a field of kind of untidy little sort of patches of grass and all different thicknesses and things. Very dry brush, just using the tip. Okay. Now, just a little tip. When I'm painting this, what I do is to create the illusion of this, or create the highlights on this, this part of it, I'll use this colour from here. And to create the highlights here, I'd use this colour here, etc, etc, etc. So each time I'm stealing the colour from here and using it to build the highlights there. And that will eventually create the illusion of depth and dimension. So what I'm doing here is I'm just using the tip of my brush and I'm creating the impression of this grass receding off into the distance just by using the tip of the brush and, and picking up the highlights on the grass. And the great thing about that is that I've left a gap through here, creates the illusion of a shadow, and really gives a nice way of receding things off into the distance. Now, I always talk a lot about gradations of colour, but what we've got here is we've got a gradation of colour and tone from cooler through to warmer, light sources over here, so as I come up here, I'm gradually going to add more and more yellow and more white and gradually warm this up down here. This area will be cooler because it's further away and this area here will be cooler because it's in shadow. Um, I'm just going to show you another little tip though while I've got this colour here. What I want to do is create the illusion of light coming through underneath this tree here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pull in a little bit of that there, and I'm going to create the impression of trees and tree trunks, or sorry, gaps in the trees and the tree trunks. So hopefully that should look like you can see through the trees that the grass behind. Now, <coughs> Oops, excuse me. You can do that here, same thing. Just create the openings in the tree. So there's, your, there's a trunk there. And it's easier to come back later on and put these in. It sort of makes it look a little more interesting too, I think rather than trying to paint all of the shaded areas around the highlight, highlighted areas. You know what, I'm going to just get rid of that there too. Okay. So we've created the illusion, and I can actually now do this too here and there. create your light coming through those trees. Really, really simple te technique. Dark to light, cool to warm, and a few strategic brush marks here and there.